Um, I'm Caroline McCall and I'm the Wardrobe Supervisor for A View From Bridge at the Wyndham Theatre. My role, the role of the Wardrobe Supervisor, comes in a little bit later of the process. So um, initially the costume designer will do some sketches or some research, they'll have conversations with the costume supervisor. Costume supervisor is kind of like the project manager of costumes. So they take that initial sketch or research, um, whatever that might be, and they have to filter that out and make that to be the realised project on stage. And the costume supervisor will typically hire the wardrobe supervisor, which would be my role. And then each project is slightly different. So it's a collaboration. You're working with the costume designer, potentially the assistant costume supervisor and their assistant. And then as head of the wardrobe department, you might hire dressers, um, laundry people. So you'd have a team underneath you as well. And you're in constant communication with the designer, with the supervisor, um, potentially attending fittings. Um, depending on the scale of the production, if it's more, if it's a smaller, lower budget, your role as wardrobe might encompass everything. The main role of a dresser is they will come in usually at the very last minute. They'll come in during tech and previews and they'll be given um, a breakdown of the quick changes that are happening. And depending on the theatre and the size of it, that could involve um, maintaining the costumes by sewing them, by ironing, by steaming, um, dry cleaning. It could be um, laundry, or it could just be, if it's at a really big theatre, just coming in and looking after those actors on a large scale production where you've got very specific makeup you would have a dedicated hair and makeup supervisor that would come in and they would work on just those elements um, if it's more of a fringe show so it's lower budget you might find that those roles would be integrated and some of that depends on the skill of the person working on it so because this show is very minimal we don't have a separate hair and makeup team so if there's any hair and makeup needs, um, that would be something that would fall under my role and I would help out. But because it's so um, simple in terms of the hair and makeup, there doesn't need to be a specific one. I think the way that technology is kind of updating and infusing into costumes um, is just a lot with people's personal laptops, iPads in the way that they can conduct meetings. Um, there's a lot of designers that are international, so it means that they're able to Skype, that they're able to send over information very easily. We can photograph, we can do, you know, I've had been working with international designers where you're photographing the fittings and you can send them over to them, they can look at them and send you feedback as opposed to having to be present, then they can work on multiple projects or they can work remotely from wherever they live. And then we've got the obvious technology, which is very old, which is sewing machines, which is very specific to our department, um, overlockers, which are more, you can have industrial overlockers, industrial sewing machines, washing machines obviously, um, dryers, we've got hot boxes which are quite specific to theatre, you don't see those in households. So we use lots of different materials um, and it's, yeah, it is specific to, to the piece, um, to the movement. I've worked in dance a lot and so with dance there's a lot of stretch um, because it helps means that dancers can reach those different moves and they can facilitate that and the stretch is dependent on the specifics of that piece and the choreography so something like dance is really specific and then of course on a show like A View From A Bridge we've got um, a lot of we need have to have a lot of natural and hard wearing fabrics because there's a lot of um, damage that happens to the costumes through every single show and there's a lot of washing and a lot of laundry but even that fabric was swatched extensively tested for durability um, make sure that it could be washed because we have blood that happens on stage so make sure the dye from the blood can wash out of all of these fabrics something like opera where there's a lot of 
detail, a lot of those costumes can't ever be washed. So you can have a lot of like beading and a lot of detail into them, a lot of embroidery. Um, if you're doing period costumes, a lot of those can't be washed. They're just dry clean only. 